harmful.
harmful. Let's take a quick look at the highlights. Brilliantly taken line out there by USA setting the platform, looking for their first try of the match. Watch this get in the hands of the big man, Mosi, carrying three Jamaicans with him, gets over the line. Referee needed to have a quick word with his AR just to confirm that it went over, but there was no denying Mosi, the big man from the Okapi Wanderers Rugby Club in South Florida. And look at the conversion there, just through the uprights brilliantly. That man has been so good here today. That's Vorster. That's good. Up into contact there. Jacob Seiler. He's over the halfway line now. USA on the front foot once again. Vorster to Mosi, the try score. The big man with the blonde hair gets past one, finally brought down. Cade. Good go forward ball there by Cruzado. Great string of phases here from USA. Once again, there's Siler. We're seeing the massive defense from Jamaica. Mosey goes for a huge smash. He fends off another finally brought down. No, no, no. Advantage blue, advantage blue. He's good, he's good. Advantage here for USA. Forrester. Over the top, he's got two players on the outside. Can he get it down? He's diving over the line and he's done it. That's Charlie Joe Rosemeyer. Build a bit of momentum for the next game. Here's hit him again. Okay. On the outside. Trying to find his last man. Getting on the outside. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. USA South champions by a score of 21 to 7. Warm up before the game.
in a year that these guys really came out and started the train and really a very short prep for such an important tournament. So these TNT players will be in a, a tough task going against a, a well-drilled and fit team from USA South, but the men in, in red and black are up for the challenge. got back underway after a short break due to the lightning and rain but that kick not going to mark but USA right back on the attack through their big man the number eight Cruzado who's been a dominant force this entire game and here comes the first try here for the Americans just sniffing at the back of the breakdown there is Mosi just waiting for it getting his hands on this ball he's got a bit of help from the tight head Connor DeVos Give him a couple of slaps after he crosses the line, but he was not done yet in the opening 20 minutes. Hard task of stopping him when he, when he got the momentum going. They got jerseys behind him and they just shove him over the line. And again, TNT to stop this really a US attack. They really need to put their shoulders in and really stop them at the line. This American team is putting their hands up as favorites so far in this tournament. Men like Mosi there just have the size and the physicality and they're just boshing their way over the line for that first five pointer here for the Americans. Back on the front foot here are the Panthers. This ball going through the hands, finding Mosi, smashing past one, getting around another. And that's his second of the half. Wait once, it. there's twice, three times the hair flip, and he's just such a hard man to bring down. Yes, we look at the replay there, taking in three tacklers with him to go over the line there, and it's just hard to stop this big guy. The man from the Oak Happy Wanderers Rugby Club in South Florida. He almost has a Taniela Tuopo uh, physique from Australia. He's got the sort of strong, hard ball runner from the front row. But uh, he's been wreaking havoc. Three tries in about a game in, game in six minutes so far. And here comes the third try here for Mosi. Once again, you see him just sniffing around the back of the, of the breakdown, getting past one, smashing over a second, getting around a third. And that's try time once again. Barster not good off the mark on a two of three. And again, Trent Tobago has no, have no answer for him as he pick and goes off the breakdown there. A little too high there, and he just took them over the line. Just a human cannonball. I can't, I can't understand so well. And again, Trent Tobago not meeting them on the top on the gain line. They're just waiting, absorbing pressure. And with a big guy like that, they're just going to steam him over the try line. He did not start the first half of the earlier game against uh, Jamaica. And he came on after halftime. So that's uh, about... In, in a span of less than 25 minutes, he's got four tries. So that's just the, the type of player that he is in this competition. Rosemeyer, offside is the call. A penalty advantage here for Trinidad and Tobago. Spun out well there. Advantage is to that. Come back here. There was no advantage. Seven just offside. Number seven. Here's your mark. Side. And again, nice open free flowing rugby by trying to do it. Even though a greasy ball, they did well to whip it all wide. Bradas leads them off the pitch at halftime. Well, that man right there has been instrumental in that 17-0 lead. He's got 15 of the 17 points. That's Gozi Mosi, the prop and try-scoring phenom. We just found out online that it's trending. There is a, a petition going around to change the name of the USA Panthers to the US Gozi Mosi Panthers after that half. The wrecking ball scoring three tries as the USA South Panthers lead Trinidad and Tobago 17-0 at halftime here. Here's McCleavy picking that ball up quickly, bringing about three guys with him. Advantage over says Perry. Got plenty of numbers on either side. Here's Mosi. Can he go for number four? Tackled three meters shy. Pick and go. Freshman on the pitch and he's done it. That's Jacob Seiler. Chanty really just focused more on getting rid of Gozi. As you look in the replay there, 
Great low tackle there, get them quickly to the floor, trying to pinch the ball. And all the focus seems to be on the ball and allow them to just pick and go on his own. Easily over the line, five points to great. Pick on the right-hand side there is Jacob Seiler, scoring the fourth try of this match there for the Panthers. As both teams emptied their benches, pick from the back of the scrum there is Silkwood and that one's Keaton McLeavy smashing over the young flanker getting the job done the score line heavily in favor of those men right there USA South Panthers comprehensive victory there for the USA South Panthers they're looking sharp Look at how this one played out between USA South and Mexico. Well, that man right there, Emilio Sanchez, played a huge role in the entire contest, getting things underway here, kicking inside to the 22 meter line for USA South. Good burst of speed there from Richards, bouncing off tacklers for USA. USA pinned inside their own half. Uncharacteristic knock on there from the outside center, Jason Trevino, giving Mexico the opportunity to find the hands of Emilio Sanchez, gets past one, smashes over another, but he's finally brought down two meters out. Playing with advantage, however, with gave him the opportunity after this ball goes to ground to come back. And watch Sanchez here, he takes on two big bodies, spins out of the tackle, does the job, gets it done all by himself. Gets past Gozi Mosi and one other big forward for USA, slotting the extra two points, which gives the advantage to Mexico. And here's USA South, smashing their way forward there is Jensvold, but unable to touch that ball down. And here's Mexico back on the attack. Great burst of speed right up the midfield there by Juan Pablo Carrera. Finding his man back on the inside, on the inside. that's Lopez, just five meters shy. Back on the other way, just two minutes shy of full time. USA clawing their way back, touching that ball down. Trevino, you see the passion from that side. Huge conversion attempt from Barster, and he splits the upright and give a little kiss to the home fan, hometown crowd back in USA watching this game, and they're loving it. And this game ends in a 7-7 draw, heartbreaking for Mexico, who had the lead for the majority of this contest.
couple of big tackles early on. Tackle, yes. Anna Kalia and Devo smashing K-Man Rugby and setting the tone early on and giving the penalty. Barster making no mistake of that one, slotting one of the few he gets in this match. That ball, Anna Kalia driving it forward. Release, Rod, release! Good go forward ball here for USA South. That's Siler smashing it forward. Cruzado, and he's over. First try of the match for the USA South Panthers. Gets a pat on the back for Keaton McCleavy, and it's two thumbs up. Barster, no mistake on the extra two points. Set. Right back on the attack here. Just that driving scrum, setting the platform every opportunity that they get. And Barster, just Johnny on the spot in each of these opportunities that he gets. Good running there from Jason Trevino, but a penalty against K-Man. Gives Varser another opportunity to split the uprights, an additional three points, and take this one out of reach here from K-Man. The Panthers were not done yet. And so is that man there, Cruzado. He picks up from the back of the breakdown, and he's over, second try of the night for the USA South Panthers. Pretty incredible that USA started off today with a draw against Mexico and they were lucky to have had that and then come back and answer it with a big win to a team that defeated Mexico twice. So who knows? 23 to nil is the score for USA South. They booked their ticket to Sunday's championship final.
USA, South, winning it, taking it home. These are some of the highlights of the game, and there was plenty of them. It was a great game. Good take in the air from Jamaica. This was how Jamaica scored many of their tries. And Akalea, the Hawaiian, going over early. And the kicks were sometimes good, sometimes bad. Most of them for the USA South were good. That was Luis Cruzado going around the outside. You can uh, get a better angle from it here. He's a powerful boy. He's got a lot of tries this week. Good, big future for him. But USA South kept doing those pick and goals and was successful throughout the game. That was Taylor. He had a great game today. Quinn Vorster popping over. Kicks from all over the park. Now this one was nice. There was some great stuff from Jamaica. They had flashes of brilliance. Looking forward to seeing how they develop over the years. That was a great tackle, covering tackle from the USA South fullback. And this time, going around the outside, Jason Trevino. But again, that pick and go is what the, was the bread and butter for USA South in this competition. Thank you very much, Jerry. We'll see you again very soon, mate. Yes, sir. And this was special from the Jamaica team. Big chase back from Mateo Tapita, but didn't quite catch. Fantastic try for Jamaica. And for me, one of the superstars of the competition, Mason Campbell at fly half, just didn't get any ball in hand, unfortunately, for this particular game. This was a nice little try. Gozi Mosi, Keaton McCleavy, and then all the way over in the corner. Nathan Williams dotting it down. Anna Kalea, he was a force to be reckoned with as well. The Hawaiian playing his rugby at Lindenwood University. And another one of those great kicks from the fly half of USA South. Don't even know if we can show all of these tries if we have enough time. But this was another one for Taylor going forward reaching out underneath those bodies and uh, the referee wrapping it up for the day USA South jubilant so just to confirm the score there 10 points to Jamaica 56 to the USA South team they'll be the champions of this Rugby Americas North <laughs> Boy, set one up for USA. Boy, set one up for USA. <laughs> All right, Jamaica. Come on, baby. I'm out with you. Boy, go on. Go on. Go on. Start on me, boy. Lock down, lock down, lock down. Last one last one baby. next time, huh? Thanks. USA forever, baby. Hey, boy. Last time being United player. Thank you guys for the great experience. Yes, Panthers all. Thank you guys. On me. One, two, three. Panthers! Deep out, deep out, boys. Big dubs, big champions. I called it at the beginning. Look at the last TikTok. I called it. We're not losing. We're not losing. Ah, we do. We do. That's all I gotta say. We do. Hey, 
talking about that is what happened. Cinnamon was whispering in my ears. Uh, uh, we better get metal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eight oh eight, baby. Eight oh eight. It's in my bag. I thought you Oh my gosh. Victory received. Stop. No, stop, stop. Doug, what was that, 59 to 10? Something like that. My, my, boy, my boy Charlie and I. We'll get these going at it. Men that yeah. We want. Really yeah, it's yeah, we, casual. We're casual. You know, it's casual. We're casual. It's a U.S. Yeah, thing. Who's next? Yeah, who's next? Who's next? Ah. Come on. Dobby's in the bunch, man. Dobby's in the bunch. Guys, make your way over to the sideline. Teams only. Hey! hey. Let me still let you know, the trainers dipped me out of this game. I passed the test. USA, stay where you are. Guys, stay right here. Right on this gentleman right here. Hey, bring it in! Let's go! Jamaica. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. My number's yo, Lewis, yo, yo. Okay, I'm back close to I'm so mad. I want to wrap it up in my way Yes. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
lots of development possible for them. The Cayman Islands, similar stories, but Mexico has such a big country and they've really developed quite well over the last couple of years, all these different clubs. It'll be interesting to see how it develops over the next couple of years as well. The Red Club in Mexico has a huge pool of players to tap into and again it's only going to do leaps and bounds for the region as more competitive rugby will be played and again even though there's only 16 people competing here there's other territories like Curacao, Barbados, St. Lucia that needs to be represented and will be represented not too far in the future. Absolutely, so that's the Mexico team receiving their bronze medals, always waving the Mexican flag. There's coach Ruben, all the way from Spain, coaching Mexico for many years now. Arguably one of the best coaches in the region at the Tier 3 nation level. And again, development of rugby won't stop here. There'll be loads of more competition in the future. Ask later Ladies on in November. And gentlemen, a round of applause. Rugby Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, it's just a good run out for some of those boys. I'm sure many of them will be in the sevens team in a couple of months. And again, a hectic calendar in this round region this year. Three tournaments carded this year so far. And again, these boys will graduate soonly, soon, sorry, into the, the, the next level, which is senior rugby. A nice rendition of Ole 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 from the USA South guys for the Mexicans. Nice touch. And Gavin, as a proud father watching your athlete out there, what kind of and celebration or what kind of reward be given medal. to your young athlete? Uh, uh, maybe the silver medal will be Anthony Williams, the CEO of DK Water. Jamaica, come out and accept your medals, please. To answer your question, I'd probably take him out for a very big slap up steak dinner. He'll be happy with that as he watched Jamaica collect their silver medals. And again, the injured Ditton would be so upset that he can contribute in today's finals. Yeah, he would. He could have been a difference maker as well. He was phenomenal um, early in the tournament. Just a, just a handful of kids uh, difficult to deal with, always causing problems, hitting the rooks hard, scrummaging well, carried the ball well. He was all over the place in the, early in the competition, so unfortunately he was injured and couldn't continue. And again, great future for Jamaican rugby with the likes of Jacob Nicholson, Mason Campbell and the likes of Johnson Hines to really help path, help clear the pathway for young Jamaican athletes. Absolutely, there's a couple of the couple of the forwards as well, Jonathan Barnes was really interesting, Kai Ditton we mentioned, Ben Hatfield as well played well in, in, in different parts of the park, Khalil Brown as well, but yeah there's some, there's some handy players out there the, the Jamaican coaching team have got uh, a lot of fun coming in the next couple of years and it looks like they've got a great plan in place. I'd certainly like to be back here now that they've got this field and this space with the university in the background where the, they can obviously host people. They can, uh, instead of paying to go to hotels, they can use the university. That, that for me, could be a real game changer for this country. And again, the support are plenty for these youths as we, we, we caught our eyes yesterday on Jamaican sevens legend O'Shane Eddy. 100 plus caps for Jamaica in the field of sevens and that will be talked about for mentorship. Yeah, no, he's a phenomenal example for these kids. He's a, he's a local boy. I didn't even realize he was in town. He kept a low profile, just popped up at the corner of the field just yesterday. And there's the Jamaica national team receiving their runners-up trophy. Congratulations to them, a phenomenal performance. At the end of the day, I think they came second to last in this tournament a couple of years ago, and now they reached the final. Massive achievement. And again, Jamaica can hold their heads high as they perform incredibly throughout this tournament. And again, we can continue to see or look forward to great things from these young men going forward. Absolutely, agreed 100%. Before we get to the multiple winners, speaking on behalf of the Americas North, we would like to send a thank you to everyone who made this tournament possible. We'd like to thank the match officials, all of the volunteers, the ball boys and girls, our medical staff are working their butts off the entire week. 
the bus drivers, the hotel, the broadcast on Sportsmax, all of the commentators, all of the fans who came here today. A big round of applause for all of yourselves and everyone who made this tournament possible. Before we get to the player of the tournament, I'm going to invite Rugby America's North General Manager, Neil Brooks, to hand out a plaque to the Jamaica Rugby Federation and Jerry Benswick. Calling Jerry, there he is. And we'd like to send a special mention to Dr. Sharmella Rookjan Martin, the head of the facility sport Yui Mona for making this tournament possible at this fantastic venue. Thank you so much. We still have one presentation to give out before we get to the gold medals. This is going to be presented by Natalie Campbell, the marketing manager for Sportsmax. Natalie, come on out. This is going to be player of the tournament and he's on the winning side. That's Luis Cruzado! Once again, a huge thank you to Sportsmax for broadcasting the entire tournament this week and lifting the standards for our competitions. We really appreciate you guys and working with you moving forward is exactly what we want. And now, they're the champions. Presenting the medals and the trophy will be Christopher Saluda, the president of the Jamaican Olympic Association, USA South Panthers. Say South boys coming through and getting their medals. Some happy faces in there saying hi to mum and dad as well. And again, great tournament here for USA South. We are showing their pedigree in this tournament here, showing that also the, our youngsters in the Caribbean need a lot more work to do to raise their standards and to be competitive at the next level. Absolutely. So, a big congratulations to the USA South boys. Please, please, please. 
I can't wait till I touch all over your sexy body. 